Hello, Identity 5 gamers. Today, I have a secret to share with all of you. What the heck is this? What? Has that always been there? That's not a thing normally, right? Am I stupid? Anyways, today, I am going to be playing my secret main. I haven't told you guys, but um, I actually have an S badge. Yup, totally. Not, not a lot. I know I haven't like shown it off at all. It's because I've been waiting for this day, right? Specifically, you know, the end of February. Wait, no, it's not. I forgot. There's still one more day in February. But specifically, toward the end of February, I've been waiting for this, right? Because, can I get something good from the essence, please? Come on. Uh, <laughs> but I've been waiting for this because, take a look. So we, we go into rankings here. And the character that I actually have the S badge with, not Nightwatch. I, you know, I, I tricked all of you into thinking that my Nightwatch um, was my best character. It's actually my Ripper. Um, and as we can see here, um, I'm actually the S1 Ripper. Um, so yeah, you, you might you might be wondering, oh well, who's it? This is actually my alt account. This this is me on an alt actually. Um, Yep, see, S S1 Ripper. Yep, I also got that opera skin. You guys remember that, right? You guys remember that time when I got that opera singer, um, that skin? Yeah. Yeah, so this is actually just my alt, totally, 100%. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna be playing Jack in rank today because um, I'm the S1 Jack. And I'm, I'm smurfing right now and nobody knows that I'm secretly the S1 Jack. That's right, guys, totally. Why does everything look so freaking weird? Did I enable something that like looks weird? Dude, I swear I switched a setting. Things don't look like this normally to me. What the heck is this? This is freaking weird. Bruh, why does everything look weird? What did I do? What setting did I turn on? Can I get this off? Bro, I don't- whatever I turned on, I don't like it. Dude, whatever I turned on, I don't like it. Can I turn it off? Please, I need to turn this off right now. Anyway, um... Bro, this is... Bruh? I'm so confused. Anyway, um... Yeah, this is this is the only Ripper build you're ever gonna need. Um, we are gonna indeed run peepers. And as you can see, um, I'm fighting a bunch of like B badges here, but typically I fight S badges only with my uh, my Ripper. My Ripper actually has the power to summon S badge only characters. Even if they want to swap off to a different character, they're actually banned from every character except their S badge characters because the game knows that's how good my Ripper is. Mm, yeah, see, no, this this is this is some good spawns. See, the, these are these are the Titan spawns that you want to see here. Yep, beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. This is this is good spawns right here this is good spawns this is what you see in titan rank guys trust so um to educate you all on how uh jack is the actually like as best hunter in the game he has foggy blade foggy blade is actually the most broken ability in the entire game because um if you throw out foggy blade you can hit somebody and then you can hit them again and they just die it's it's crazy dude so i know that the seer is over here so what my strategy is gonna is, is gonna be it's gonna be hitting with the foggy blade he's not gonna expect it right he's totally not gonna expect my character's abilities so i'm actually gonna drop a peeper right here to break the loop um he's gonna want to go through that thingy down over there but it's fine because all i have to do is foggy him and then he's dead like he's not gonna see this coming bro like i have sights on you i think actually where, where bro where are you oh there he is so i just foggy here and yeah you see my foggy missed there because uh, i was lagging um otherwise that 100 would have hit 100 of the time that would have hit uh, i totally should not have just like saved my peeper for um you know trying to hit him behind the wall here that that was actually just 100 accurate um uh was actually just 100 lag so there's literally um the, the only thing I have to do here is I just have to hit him with my foggy blade, like, right here. Uh, so yeah, he, he thought he thought he could do that thing, he thought he'd use an owl, and then I just terror shock him right here. But he's actually smart, because we're in titan rank, so... You know, that, that just makes sense, that just makes sense. So he's gonna have to run away from this area, and he thinks he's, he's a super, you know, smart boy. Um, but secretly, I'm actually super speedy ripper. Um, and all I have to do is drop a peeper right here and wait for my foggy blade, because I'm not about to just, like do this whole shenanigan thing so i just throw out foggy blade and he forces a base attack which is really good because everybody else would have got hit by that foggy blade but because i'm in uh, because i'm a hydro rank hunter um he actually ran into me which was like pretty smart and as you know you might be thinking i'm getting side rushed here but don't worry i can just I, I can just um stomp on this pallet and when you stomp on this pallet right here it means they can't vault that meaning they won't be able to side rush me anymore um it's like a secret strategy that not many people know about when, when you break a pallet um they can't vault so all i have to do here actually is enchant just thinks she's gonna get, be able to get the rescue but literally all i have to do is just hit her with foggy blade then what she what is she gonna do so i'm gonna over she, she actually dodges the foggy blade i don't really know how she did that that was actually kind of crazy but it's fine i'll just terror shock her right here it's fine here we go Okay, so somehow, um, she's hacking also. I don't know, dude, I swear, like, all the hackers are on today. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, so she uses her ability. That's pretty smart. She is gonna vault, and, um, okay, so she doesn't vault there, but it's okay. It's, uh, when you're up against hackers, um, these, these things happen. These things happen. 
And that was 100% a Foggy Blade hit, but because of the power of her hacking, I actually wasn't able to, to beat that. So when I'm up against people um, who, you know, play a fair game and are like actually playing Identity V instead of Identity freaking Game Shark, um, you know, I actually have a chance of winning. <laughs> But as we can see here, my Foggy Blade is now charged up the most broken ability, so all I have to do is just throw it out. And he forces a basic hit, which was actually really smart. But again, I am a Titan, so uh, or a Hydra Rank Hunter. So that, that's just to be expected, right? That is to be expected. Um, so all I have to do here is just set up my confined space that I don't have <laughs> and um, drop a peeper here. This will, this is going to help out, trust me. So he's going to try and go back over to this area. He's transitioning because he knows I set up that confined space. And all I have to do here is charge attack. He'll never see this one coming. And yep, there we go. Beautiful work. I could have hit him with the Foggy Blade there, but I thought it would be... I, I wanted to, like, you know, prove, assert my dominance. I'm going to drop here. I actually didn't drop in time, but it's okay, because um, I have Giant Claw. I actually don't have Giant Claw, but I have a Giant Claw, like, aesthetically. Um, <laughs> so it's okay. Um, easily, I just tie this, right? Because all I have to do is just not drop Peepers anymore, and then I just have Teleport. So Lawyer is actually here. He thinks he can get this rescue because the Cypher is primed, but I'm just going to Terror Shock him, because the thing about Lawyer is he actually can get Terror Shocked, um, specifically by Jack and Jack only. So all I have to do here is set up my Teleport. Um, like, let me hold on. Let me set up my Confined Space as well. <laughs> and then they're going to go for the rescue, and that's, that's how I give them the... That's the... <laughs> And then, and then I just uh, walk through this because they're going to be really bad and miss. They're going to pop the cypher. Uh -huh. But it's okay. I charged up my foggy blade. And that's that's what I really wanted them to do. So all I have to do here is um, use my foggy blade and use teleport. And then I guarantee the 4k. So I, I just use foggy blade right here. And for some reason, his he actually you know hacked those barrels. The foggy blade is supposed to fly over those barrels. But he actually used hacks. So I wasn't able to use my foggy blade there. Um, so I was about to drop a peeper, and then I forgot that I don't have peepers anymore. But this actually hits. Fun fact. Um, so all I have to do here now is uh, teleport to this gate that they totally don't have open already. And then I win. Oh, what? The, how do they not have this gate open? I mean, no, I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. So yeah, the lawyer is really fast right now, but I'm just going to disrespect his pallet, and then he's going to die. Um, yeah, so Foggy Blade should have just Terror Shocked there. I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, I'm just going to disrespect his pallet. Um, yeah, Lawyer's actually just broken. He's using, he also has hacks. Like, like I said, this whole team is hacking, um, so there isn't really much I can do. I, I, I should set up my confined space. Hold on. Let me just set up my confined space here. Um, here we go. And I'm, I should have brought Blink. Um, I should have brought I should have brought Blink. That's what I should have done. Um, but it's okay because all I have to do is hit him with the Foggy Blade here, and there's nothing that he can do. There's literally nothing that he can do. Um, yeah, so all, all I have to do is just... I, why is he so fast, bro? Bro, why is he so fast? I don't understand. All right, here you go. I just got to Terror Shock him right here, and then I get the 4K. Boom! There's that Terror Shock. That's the Terror Shock we were looking for, right? Um, let's see. And... Boom, there's the Terror Shock. Yep. Awesome. So there we go. We got the 4K that we were looking for. Um, let's move on to the next match, though. All right, on the bright side, it looks like my UI is now fixed. As you can see, they were hacking in the last game, so that's the that's the only reason I got the 4K. Um, well, I mean, I was going to get the 4K regardless. But now, now that my UI is back to normal, now that I'm no longer hacked, um, I'm going to set up a new um, Persona web here. Actually, what is E? Oh, this is a great start. Okay, so I think Instance is actually really good on Jack um, because that way you can um, get his... Uh, you can do hidden in the mist faster. Um, and I'm gonna let's make sure to bring confined space here. Um, let's increase the balloon speed in case you run into a forward that I banned. Um, let's actually bring claustrophobia. They'll never expect that. Um, let's make sure we bring um, control freak because I'm a camping hunter. Um, let's make sure to bring borrowed time as well. Yeah, bar borrowed time. That's a good one. And I love you bringing bye-bye. That's funny. That's actually funny. But I can't bring it because um, I'm actually out of persona points. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I think I think this is a pretty uh, pretty solid build. Yeah, as you can see, we're up against all S badges here. Yeah, this this is this looks looking pretty good so far. Um, these are some actually horrible spawns because they spawn in the corners. So I don't really know the, these guys need their S badges revoked. Um, I actually knew the prisoner would spawn in the graveyard because I'm actually friends with CC the Wolf Witch. Um, fun fact, he's actually a, both a wolf and a witch. Ah, the Red Church, also known as Ripper's best map. Actually, all every every single uh, every single map is the Ripper's best map. Now you might be wondering why am I not going after the decoy? Well, it's because that's my best friend. Uh, it's because um, CC the Wolf Witch or whatever, and I go way back. So I get that Foggy Blade hit. Um, it should have Terror Shocked. Actually, I don't know. I don't know why it didn't Terror Shock there. Um, Foggy Blade should have just Terror Shocked there. That was that was really weird. Um, I don't think these people are hacking yet. Okay, maybe they might be hacking because they actually got that pallet stun. Which, um, if you didn't know, um, 
you can't get past Thunder's Jack. Like he's actually immune to them. Um, well, actually he's not, but only only if you're like really good at the game, like me. So all I have to do is just hit with Foggy Blade here, and um, there we go. Yeah, see, that, that's what I was looking for, and that was awesome, because now they don't know I have insulin because I got two Foggy Blade hits. But that's just how good my Jack is, guys. That, that's just how good he is. Like, nobody nobody expects the insolence, and now they're just totally not going to uh, expect when I get to full presence in three more hits, as if my insolence did not matter at all. Uh, so I'm going to actually drop a Peeper right here um, to, you know, de make it so that they decode the ciphers slower. And I'm actually going to go walk all the way over here, because I know that um, my good friend, the Gravekeeper, is coming in. And he's going he's gonna, to, like, buy as much time as possible with his little shovel uh, that he got at like I don't know target or something but I'm gonna hit him out of that um, and then I'm gonna terror shock him right here because he's actually not gonna expect that so I'm just gonna I'm gonna terror shock him right there he actually doesn't get terror shot which is really weird um, but you know it's fine it's fine uh, I, I don't know how again I don't know how that didn't terror shock but you know it's fine um, like, like I said they might be using hacks they did they just might be using hacks so this is actually a free down right here um, there we go. Yep, that's that's exactly what I was looking for. She's gonna die on the cipher of my best friend. I'm gonna walk all the way right up to him, and I'm gonna be like, "Yo, hey, here's a peeper that you love. Here's actually two peepers for you in case you want to break one." I actually like snapping peepers in half. They're, it's pretty fun. But I'm just gonna drop two peepers on his cipher because um, I know I know he's actually a really big fan of peepers. Um, we, we he and I go way back. He's like the biggest peeper fan. Um, we actually went to a concert where we saw like a peeper before. It was really cool. The peeper was like wiggling on stage. And it was actually like really cool. Uh, so Gravekeeper actually looks like he's getting healed by using hacks. I guess he turned on his hacks machine. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, and I'm just gonna send out a Foggy Blade here. Um, and she almost ran into it, but she actually avoided it using her hack abilities. Um, but now now I have to go back here and drop a Peeper again um, because yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Um, I thought he was actually hiding in this plant for a second. That's actually a secret strategy. Um, you can actually hide in the plants. And now I just now I just kill the barmaid because she's she's being funny. So uh, yeah, so I just um, I missed my foggy blade because she is using hack. She is gonna use her speed drink here because she's a coward. Let's see, are you a coward? She is a coward actually. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I, I thought I thought she was a coward. Um, and now now I just 100% know that she's a coward. So yeah, I, I see that she's transitioning over here, and. Um, yeah, so all, all I gotta do is just hit her with Foggy Blade, which is honestly not that hard. I just have to swing right here, and then she's down. Like, even with her hacks, she can't beat me, because that's just how good my Jack is. Like, my, my Jack is, like, known far and wide as, like, the Jack, because I am the S1 Jack. That, that's just how it works. So I'm, I'm, gonna shove, I'm gonna shove her in there. And you might be wondering why I'm using this accessory. Well, I'm using this accessory because I actually just want to, to give the other people a chance, because my Jack is just too good. So I need to nerf myself. That's just kind of how it is. So he's going to go into his shovel form here because he's actually a bit of a coward. Um, and he's just going to buy as much time as possible. I am going to hit him with Foggy Blade, force him out of there. Uh, but because of the Peeper, he's going to get Terror Shocked right here. So let me watch this Terror Shock. Um, somehow that doesn't actually Terror Shock, which is a little bit weird. Um, but again, he, the Gravekeeper was using hacks. So we, we know about this already. We do, we do know that he's using hacks. Uh, the Barmaid is actually out of her hack drinks now. And she is going to be transitioning toward the church area because uh, it is actually a Sunday and she does need to go pray to Jesus. So I totally understand that. Um, but I hate to tell you that your God cannot help you right now because um, that foggy blade is just going to destroy you and all of your uh, religious beliefs. Now we're going to we're going to carry her all the way down to the basement. Um, you might be wondering why am I going to the basement? Uh, well, the, the reason why is um, because I'm not going to like drag her away from her precious church here so i am i am gonna just uh drop a peeper right here um you know I, I, as uh some people might also call it they some people call them peppers but that's actually like really offensive like they really don't like being called peppers they actually do have some pallets set up here so they can increase their decoding speed um actually did you i don't know if you guys knew this but when when you have um some peppers uh, I, mean, I meant pallets set up here you can actually um you actually increase the decoding speed by doing that. So I don't know what's happening. I guess they're, they're somehow like working on ciphers like really fast, like they have to be hacking or something. So I'm not really sure what's up with that, but I'm gonna uh, probably just like swap to teleport here soon. Cause I actually don't know where they are cause they're using, oh, never mind. They're probably all the way at, uh, you know, maybe where the ciphers are at. That's, pr that's probably a, a good idea. Let's see, here we go. We found, we found the prisoner, which is actually who we don't want to find. So I'm just gonna drop a pepper at his cipher um, and just leave. 
Because all I have to do is just find the grave. Yeah, the gravekeeper, get him down. And then what is prisoner supposed to do? Like he's not going to be finishing that cypher anytime soon. That cypher is not done anytime soon. So all I have to do is just kill this guy who's using hacks. And then I just have to, you know, actually kill the other people that are not using hacks. So he's going to try and use that decoy, but like that literally does nothing because he's not magician. And then all I have to do is drop a pepper here and then use my epic foggy blade skills that, well, I forgot, you know, he is using hacks after all. My goodness, dude. You, you know, attacking people with, um, we're attacking people using hacks is just a little bit unfair, but you know some people some people just have no um That, that cypher is not prime. That's okay. I dropped a pepper at a cypher. Oh, okay Well, he's I guess he used his hacks his hacks actually have like long range um, But that's okay because all I have to do here is just foggy blade and then he's dead That was somehow a basic uh, hit I'm not really sure how that was but I'm actually gonna go walk all the way back over to this door and um, Since I don't have the tension I can actually tell wh uh, what the timer is exactly um, so let's see here. We did actually find the Pribiner, and um, luckily, because of his long distance um, decoding, he actually uh, does not have long distance hacks. Um, so we are going to get the Foggy Blade hit here. Uh, he does use his uh, hack wheel. Um, <laughs> For those who don't know, Hack Wheel is a, the secret fifth Persona web trait where it gives you a giant massive speed boost. And he's going to be dropping all the pallets here because he knows it's going to increase his decoding speed, which is really smart um, at this point in the game. So I'm actually going to disrespect this pallet. And of course he is using hacks, so you know I do indeed um, die, but I'm going to use my uh, hack blade. And for some reason my hacks don't work against his hacks, which is really weird. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just kill this, um, this hacker. And if the gate's open by now, then he's just hacking. So I just have to use my attack, and then I just teleport. And I don't think the gate should be open, but he does. They are using hacks, so we'll just have to see. Let's see. Can I can I get out? Um, oh, they're not here. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, it looks like he used his hacks to long distance open the gate. So I am gonna use my foggy blade here. And for some reason, he actually makes it out thanks to his hack ability. So yeah, that's just a bit unfortunate they were hacking. That was 100%. But you know, I actually just wanted to give CC the Wolf Witch the win because they are my best friend. So that, that was honestly the biggest reason why I wanted to do that. Um, just because he was my friend. Um, but other, otherwise, that was 100% of 4K without the hacks even included. All right, here we go. I think, I think I'm actually going to... Um, use a, on my other costume, the Baker costume here. This is actually the costume I wear uh, whenever I'm, you know, hunting as my uh, my S1 Ripper badge here. Uh, and I am actually going to opt to switch up my Persona web because I actually made a mistake. I did not need the fast ballooning speed, but I needed to, um, oh, not panic. That actually is like, you know, not useful in the slightest. It doesn't slow down Cypher Rush. Cypher Rush is just too powerful. Ah, yes, of course, uh, Exhibitionist. That's, that's perfect for Jack, the character who swings all the time. That's actually perfect for him, yep. Oh, these are some actually solid spawns because they can transition really, really well here. But I think I am going to spawn in the shack because um, I, this is actually the shack that I own. I actually have to pay taxes on, on this shack. It, it really sucks, but it's fine. Now, the biggest thing that I'm actually uh, worried about here is what all S-Bun badges should be worried about is um, the hackers, of course. So I do know that the lawyer spawns over here, but as you can see, it looks like he's... Um, it looks like he's reading uh, hacks.com to like increase his speed boost, which is like really freaking weird. That's like honestly kind of like cheater moves, which is not like really what we want here um, in Identity 5. We, we don't want any hacks or cheats or anything like that, um, but it's okay. It, it, it's okay. Like the reason why I'm the S1 Ripper is because I can win um, even when people are trying to hack. Like that. that's, that's why they call me the S1 Badge Ripper. Um, so he is going to drop the pallet here, which is like really, really smart, but it's also kind of a cowardly move because he just doesn't want to get hit by my my God Blade. Um, so he is going to try and like break line of sight here to avoid getting hit by Foggy, but like he literally can't do anything about that. And then he's just going to die. Like he has veteran speed boost, but I know he's going to vault and then he's going to have knee reflex. So I know he's going to keep on doing that. So the only reason why he doesn't get double hit here is because he's a coward and he's running like the optimal build um, when he should just be running like, I don't know, um, hack wheel. And now he's actually going to get into ruins. So you might think this is like really, really bad for me, right? You might think this is like really, really bad for me. Well, it's actually not that bad because I have my God Blade up and I'm just going to throw it out here and it's going to hit him. Uh, but he actually uses his hack wheel. So for some reason, it just doesn't hit there. And I am going to get a hit on the Prospector. Well, except he has his um, his stupid speed boost at the perfect time. So yeah, it's just it's just like the hackers, dude. The hackers are like really hard to beat. Like this lawyer should be dead. Um... But let, let me just let me just set up my confined space here real quick. All I have to do is set up my confined space, and there's not really much he can do here because I do have my foggy blade back up. He's gonna magnet me, but it's not gonna matter because I just have foggy blade. And he does he does actually use his hacks again to avoid that, so that's a bit unfortunate. Um, I just I just wish people would be more fair 
um, and not use hacks like in identity five because like this lawyer this lawyer is like doing he's like doing it he's like okay right like he I know he is the S one rip or the S one uh, lawyer but honestly like, I think he's more like the S like maybe like S three like he he doesn't really seem like you know S S one material so all I have to do is just um throw out my foggy lid but he actually uses hacks to avoid the to avoid it again which is honestly really weird I don't I don't know why he's able to do that. Uh, it, it's it's really weird if you ask me. Like the only reason this lawyer is surviving is because of the hacks, which again, you know, it's it's just kind of unfortunate. So now there's literally nothing that I can do here because this is like a broken kiting area. But I just have to set up my confined space here, so we'll be fine. So now now that I have my confined space set up, there's really nothing that this lawyer can ever do to like win against um, this again. So all, all I've got to do is just. Um, you know, just just keep on just keep on fighting the good fight. You know, uh, us S badges, us people who play fair without the hacks. Like it's it's really rough out here, dude. It is really rough out here. So he's gonna try and make it to this pallet, but I'm just gonna use Foggy Blade, and he does indeed get hit by it. It looks like his hacks were lagging there, so he wasn't able to um actually use them there, which was which was nice for me, honestly. It, it's really nice to um. To avoid to avoid having the hacks being used there, but which is great, which is really great. So mercenary is gonna show up here, but that's okay because um I'm just gonna hit him with my god blade, and then he won't be able to do anything. I'll just have to hit him with god blade and terror shock him. So he actually avoids it using hacks once again, and then he uses his um hack pad, um and then he actually makes me hit the chair like a bot, but that's only because of hacks again. Um like when you're going up against a four person team that are, that are all using hacks, look they actually just made my like foggy blade like not even come out there. Like that's 100% hacks. He is actually gonna pallet stun me here. That one was and hacks that was actually just a good play I, I gotta give it up that was actually just a good play but that foggy blade actually hits the mercenary instead because they get the hack block um and then that also hits the mercenary um uh, and then they just pop here because they think they're like really really good at the game um uh, but it's okay I, i'm not mad it's, it's just that they're hacking um it, it, it's just you know the hacks dude that the hacks the hacks are really rough nowadays but it's okay now now that i'm at full presence we'll, we'll be fine we'll be fine here we'll be fine um yeah, so, so all we gotta do here is just uh, hit my Foggy Blade here. Um, oh, right, I forgot, I don't have detention. Yeah, that's that's fine, dude, that's fine. That that that's I forgot about my, about my no detention, that's okay. I'm just gonna swap to Blink here. And, um, so that, that misses because of hacks. Um, and that, that doesn't miss, but that's okay. So he, they are gonna opt to um, use Little Child, but that's okay, because I can actually just Foggy Snipe them. Um, yup, yup, yup. Oh, but she uses her hack wheel, so you know that's fine. You know, n n none of us, none of us are big fans of hack wheel. It's okay. Hack, hack wheel is just really unfortunate. So what I have to do here is I have to drag him all the way back over here. Else, um, they're just gonna body block city. But you know, that's fine. That, that that's fine. So yeah, ho hope hopefully hopefully we don't have to deal with like any of these hackers anymore. Uh, I don't really like dealing with hackers. It's it, it's pretty annoying if you were to ask me. Um, they actually do. They actually are gonna try and go for this, which is like really kind of cringe if you ask me. I, I don't really know what they're thinking. These guys think they're like gonna go into Koa or something, but like they truly just cannot make it. Um, so they are gonna miss that because of hacks. Um, that's a very small stun, but it's okay. We get we get one person down, and then all we have to do is just foggy blade, and they can't do anything about it. So um, they are gonna go for their hack block here, but it's okay. I'm actually just super super good at this game, um, and I'm able to. Hit the mercenary who leaves, and then the lawyer's gonna be able to crawl out actually, which is kind of stupid, um, but because they're hacking, but it's okay. So we're, we're gonna pick up the prospector here, and I actually have a really good idea. This this is what this is this is what I do to the hackers. I'm gonna give them the win, um, so to re to hope that hope it. So I give them the the realization that victory does not mean anything, um, and that they those those victories were only because of hacks. That's that's the big reason why I'm doing this. So. Yeah, never, never, um, never fight my S1 Ripper, guys. Never fight my S1 Ripper again. Don't, don't ever challenge me again. Anyways, guys, I think, I think you should all take this video as a very good lesson, uh, as to never challenge me, uh, whenever I'm playing Ripper. Uh, I, I know I, I, I held back for so long, um, but I, I just had to bring out the big guns. I had to, I had to bust out my S1 Ripper. Uh, so yeah, ne never, never challenge me again. Never doubt me again. Um, I am the S1 Ripper. I will always be the S1 Ripper. Um, I'm actually competing in Koa, um, so I I'm competing under an alias though. You're just, you're just not gonna know who I am. But whenever you see that Ripper come out, that's me. Whenever, whenever that Foggy Blade um, hits, uh, that, that's when that's when we're gonna win. But it's okay because Koa doesn't allow hacks, so that's that's when you're gonna see my true power. Because there's gonna be no hacks allowed in Koa, so that's when you're gonna be able to see <laughs> my true Ripper power. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, that's the one bad Ripper forever. I'm out. I'm Zeus, and I'm out.